Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and I'm here with Brooklyn, and it is late at night, and she wants to play ball, and of course she'll look right at me because she loves playing ball. Well guys, Ego is launching some new products, and I was going to launch this video during the weekend, but you know what? I decided to get some of this information out to you early because I know I have a bunch of Ego followers. All right. Now this is new product that is coming, so we don't have dates and we don't have costs, but We've got a few products that you'll be definitely interested in. Right, Brooklyn? Brooklyn? <laughs> All right, guys, let's get started. All right, let's get started with the first item. This is the Power Plus Nexus Escape 400 watt inverter. That's right, 400 watts. The previous model was 150. Now, this peaks at 800 watts, which is phenomenal, right, for that additional ramp-up power, by the way. And one of the big differences from the previous model is this has a pure sine wave inverter. Now, what that means is it provides clean power. If you're going to plug your computer into this, you don't have to worry. The power that it will provide is clean power. That's very important. The previous model didn't have those features. Now, it does say that you can power up to three devices simultaneously, but when I look at the, uh, you know, the plugs, it looks like I could plug in four, right? I could use the AC, and then I've got one USB type A and two USB type Cs. Now, one of the type Cs, by the way, is a power direct port, so that's an in and an out, but that can also supply 100 watts alone. If you have a MacBook and you want to plug it in, you can do that. No problem directly with the USB Type-C Power Direct port. So pretty cool. Again, no dates yet, all right, and um, no prices yet. Now, I want to bring up another picture real quick. You know, I see a little flashlight next to the power button, so I'm wondering if you click that. Where would that light up? So I don't know about that. Obviously, you see the handle, so the handle looks really nice and sturdy. But the flashlight, I wanted to point out, I don't know what that is. Is that a light? Does it illuminate like the ports? So interesting. All right, this next item will excite you if you have the multi-head system, right? You know, that tool that you can add all the different attachments to. So this is the first string trimmer with power load technology. They finally added the power load technology using the multi-head system. Model number is MST1603. Now this is a 16 inch, by the way, okay? Um, this kit will come with a four amp hour battery. It has a carbon fiber shaft that has a lifetime warranty, guys, all right? But that's real cool. And I zoomed into the image so that you could see as much as you could see for now. All right, so here is a new 10-inch telescopic pole saw. Now check this out. The model number is PS1001. Okay, they say it has the industry's first LED cut line indicator for more accurate cuts when working under dark shaded canopies and low light conditions. Man, I, I got to check this out when it comes out. Um, it's telescopic, and it has a carbon fiber shaft, so that's really cool because that's going to be light and strong. The shaft extends to a total reach of 16 feet. That's going to be really nice, and it's up to 30% lighter than other pole saws. That carbon definitely helps that. It comes with a 2.5 amp hour battery, which will give you up to 100 cuts, they say, and the carbon fiber shaft has a lifetime warranty. Real nice. Again, no date and no price right now, but we'll keep our eyes on this. All right, so here is the new Z6. It's called the Power Plus 42-inch Z6 zero-turn mower with e-steer technology. The model number is ZT4205S, and they say it drives like a car and turns like a ZTR. It's uh, They've got the industry's first E-steer technology, as you can see on the picture, it's got a steering wheel. That is sick, okay? Now, they say it has the 
power equivalent of 22 horsepower, by the way, without the noise, the fuss, and the fumes. They say it cuts up to two and a half acres on a single charge, okay, with the included four 12 amp hour batteries. Now, the thing that gets me, and you'll see this on the slide coming up, it says you can add more batteries to cut three, four, five, or as many acres as you need. So I don't know. I mean, how many spots does it have for batteries? That's going to be pretty interesting. Again, no launch date and no price, but let's take a close look at the steering wheel. So I zoomed in here so you can kind of get a good look at the steering wheel. It's really cool. And the control panel is on the right. All right. But man, I, I really wish I had a big enough backyard so I could get this and demo it for you guys. All right, let's talk about some new mowers coming out. So this is LM2125SP, all right? It's a 21-inch self-propelled with touch drive technology. Now, we're familiar with touch drive technology, okay? So it'll deliver six foot-pounds of torque. So that means that they're probably taking the price down on this one a little bit, right, to make it more affordable. This will come with a 7.5 amp hour battery, which will give you up to 60 minutes on a single charge. Of course, it's got the brushless motor, which is really important. Uh, the touch drive technology is really nice for self-propel. So we'll take a look and check this out when it comes out. Now, looking at this model, it's really hard to tell, but the wheels look like they could be bigger. They look like they're designed a little bit differently. But we'll find out if the wheels will be bigger on these models coming out. All right, guys, I'm leaving the best for last. This is the new XP model, 21-inch Select Cut XP with a Speed IQ. So a couple of things that are different about this model. Number one, they came out with Speed IQ, which is, I've never heard of it. And so this thing's, you know, the self-propel in this basically will digitally sense and adapt to your speed and style. And that means if you mow slow or you mow fast, it will adjust. Again, we've got to test this out, right? Now, the thing I'm excited about, and I wish I had a, a, a shot to show you, is the digital display. It says it allows you to monitor the mower speed, the battery charge status, and the blade speed selection in real time. I mean, what does that all mean? I've got to see it. That sounds really, really cool though. Now, this still delivers 8.3 foot-pounds of torque, just like the previous Select Cut XP, okay? This will come with a 12 amp hour battery, so they're saying you can get up to 90 minutes on a single charge. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in for a minute, you know, and, and just show you the display. So, so obviously we're looking at the back of the display, so I'm excited about that. Now, the thing that's different is look at the handle. Slide down for just a minute, that green latch. So it looks like they have an adjustment that's a single adjustment to closing the handle and opening the handle is my best bet. All right? So that's pretty cool also. Last, let's take a good look at these two mowers side by side, right? The 2125 and the 2167. Now, I don't know if these guys have bigger wheels. I mean, the 2167 looks like it's got slightly bigger wheels, but the image can slightly be different, a little bit bigger than the, the other one. So I don't want to say that. You could see the display on the 2167, right? Um, you know, I'm trying to see any other differences here. You know, it looks like the top of the battery compartment is a little different on the 2125, right? And so this one's supposed to cost less. All right, that's the other thing. The 2125 is supposed to cost less because it's got six foot-pounds of torque versus the 2167 with 8.3, all right? So, yeah, very exciting. Guys, I hope this information was helpful in any way. We're always wanting to get this information out as soon as possible. We were going to launch this on the weekend. We decided to do it tonight. You know, a lot of, the, a lot of us are up late. Anyway, give us a thumbs up if you could. We'd really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, become a member of the family, and thank you so much, guys. Have a great night. Hey, guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. 
Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.